can I ask a question to Absolutely, please, yes. So what do you what do you tell so if you ever go to alcoholic anonymous, right, or uh, you know other sort of addiction <laughs> self-help groups. So what do you tell the person who's, you know, who at some level is trying to quit, you know, uh, kick the habit? What do you tell him? <laughs> um, about free will, am I going to tell well, them they well, don't have free What are you going to tell, tell no. I mean, well, how are you going to uh, help uh, this person? You're telling them, well, it's, it's all physics and neuroscience. You don't really have much info. I mean, well, what are you going to tell, per, per, are you going to tell them it's you and only you that can make the decision to kick the habit and stop drinking? Well, or uh, I've always wondered about this. Okay, well, they, you know, there's a lot of factors which are going to be involved that are, a are actually uh, uh, making them want to drink. Um, they have s some self-control that you can leverage. So, uh, you know, as Tamar was talking about, there's this ability, potentially, whereby thinking that you have free will is actually going to increase your ability to exercise it. So, I would tell them, <laughs> if free will doesn't exist, well, fake it till you make it, right? So, fake having free will, believe you have free will, and that's going to, you know, rile up your free will, hopefully your self-control. It's going to be little, so it doesn't exist, okay, well, but pretend that, that no, it yeah, exists. Yeah, well, you don't start with the first bit. I mean, don't okay, if they've already it. read Can the I books, then you say, okay, well, fake it then. The better manipulation rather than a free will manipulation is a mindset manipulation. So to give people the sense that they can grow, that they can change, that they can make plans like I'm going to say now, 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 and execute those plans, and that if they stick to that, so their long-term plans can actually help constrain their actions in the short term, which is what they need. They need to not have to make a decision every time they get near the substance that they're, that's the addictive substance for them. Yeah, but doesn't that appeal to an autonomous agency? Uh, so I think this is my reading of Kant and Spinoza, that ultimately we have to, if it didn't exist, we have to invent it, because ultimately we have to appeal to this independent agent. You are autonomous. You yes. are your master of the fate, and only you can determine to stop drinking. I think that's how, that's certainly, uh, that's how Alcoholic Anonymous works. Yeah, no, but I you, do, you do more than that. You also give them some tools to use. To, this is how you can stop. So it's not enough to say, it's on you. You also have to say, it's on you, and let me show you how easy it can be if you take it one day at a time. I went to a beautiful talk today. Steven Pinker was talking about the process of writing is the process of revision. You can't get it all down the first time. You sit down. How many times do you wish you could tell your students that? You sit down. You, 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 you try to get the ideas out first. But it comes out terrible prose. Then you read it out loud to yourself. Then you get the prose. Then after that, you, get the, you have to go and make sure that they're organized and flow with respect to each other. How many times do you rewrite a manuscript before you send it out? That's, so you have to give people more than just, and it's for children especially, the mindset manipulations are powerful for children, especially in educational contexts, but also I think in social contexts, though they haven't been as widely studied in those.